Now that we can create and manage insurance policy objects, we'll add the ability to create vehicles and link them to the policy objects. In the tutorial will show you how valuable the pick list can be. First, we'll model a pick list to represent a list of vehicles, and later, we'll use it in places where the user can choose from a list of choices. Our first pick list will represent a list of vehicle manufacturers that can be selected when adding a vehicle to an insurance policy. A pick list is essentially a static list of name value pairs. We can use it when configuring data model attributes as well as results list and drop down widgets. In the XCP Navigator, select the Object Models tab. Then right click Pick List and select New Pick List. For Label, enter Vehicle Make and click Finish. In the Basics tab, we'll just use the basic string data type. Select the Entries tab. This is where we'll enter the name value pairs. Click the mouse in the first label field. This is the equivalent of clicking the Add Entry button. Now, enter Ford Motor Company and then press the Tab key. That'll tab you over to the Value field. For the Value field, enter Ford and press the Tab key again. For the second manufacturer, the name value pair will be Toyota and Toyo for the value. Press Tab. For the third manufacturer, the name value pair will be Volkswagen and Volk. Close the Vehicle Make Editor tab and save. Now we have a pick list data model with a list of three vehicle manufacturers. The value of each pick list entry is the short code identifier for the manufacturer and the label is their full name. 